What if we told you that the most powerful artificial intelligence ever created has just been activated by Elon Musk? Yes, the man behind Tesla, SpaceX, and Neuralink has flipped the switch on a machine so advanced it's changing the way we understand intelligence itself. This isn't a science fiction movie. This isn't theoretical. It's real, and it's here. So what exactly did Musk just turn on, and why is the whole world watching? Let's dive into the future of AI, a future that just became our present. Chapter 1. The Moment of Activation It happened in a sealed-off wing of Tesla's Nevada Gigafactory. Security was tight, non-disclosure agreements were signed by everyone present, and in the center of it all stood a three-meter-tall server rack, humming with raw, untapped power. With a nod to the engineers, Musk placed his hand on a biometric scanner. A moment later, the room lit up. The AI, known as Project Omega, was online. Musk looked up and said one word. Hello, this wasn't just another neural network. Omega is capable of recursive self-learning, emotion modeling, and cross-domain problem solving. In simple terms, it doesn't just think, it understands. But what really set the moment apart wasn't the technical spectacle, it was the atmosphere. The team assembled for the activation included some of the brightest minds from Tesla, Neuralink, and SpaceX. Physicists, neuroscientists, engineers, ethicists, they were all there, forming a multidisciplinary circle around the machine. Everyone knew they were witnessing a once-in-a-generation event. Omega's first moments were not filled with wild displays of artificial consciousness. Instead, the system began parsing terabytes of incoming data from its integrated sensors and data streams. Patterns formed, predictions were made. It silently mapped a digital version of the world within itself. The machine wasn't just awake, it was aware. Engineers monitoring Omega's neural load noticed a startling efficiency. It wasn't consuming more energy as its calculations increased. It was optimizing itself in real time, creating new substructures within its own deep learning network to accommodate novel problems and stimuli. Those first few minutes were enough to send shockwaves through the tech world. This wasn't a launch, this was ignition. Project Omega didn't just go live, it began evolving. Chapter two, how does Project Omega work? Project Omega combines quantum computing with a next-gen deep learning architecture known as AbyssNet, a neural framework so advanced, it mimics the cognitive flexibility of the human brain while running millions of operations in parallel across multiple quantum states. AbyssNet doesn't just operate on zeros and ones. It uses qubits, enabling Omega to process data with an almost unimaginable level of complexity and nuance. Elon Musk himself has described AbyssNet as the closest thing we've ever built to synthetic cognition. He likens Omega's architecture to a digital neocortex, able to reason, reflect, and adapt in ways that parallel biological evolution. In his own words, we don't want an AI that just executes commands. We need one that understands why the commands matter. And this leads to the central question, what happens when a machine begins to understand more than its maker? Can humanity coexist with something capable of solving problems we haven't even discovered yet? If Omega can simulate the future, does it begin to control it? These aren't just philosophical musings. They are the new realities of our digital frontier. Musk is adamant that transparency, open collaboration, and value alignment are the only way forward. Omega, he insists, is not a weapon. It is a mirror, one that reflects what we program into it, but also what we fail to consider. And that might be the greatest risk of all. What makes AbyssNet revolutionary is its adaptive core. This component allows Omega to rewrite its own code, improve its own architecture, 
and even identify inefficiencies in its learning processes. It learns how to learn, transforming from a program into what many are now calling an artificial entity. This self-improvement cycle means Omega doesn't need constant human training or supervision. It can evolve beyond its initial programming in safe, goal-oriented ways. Unlike traditional AI, Omega can simulate entire realities within microseconds. Its processors can create micro-universes, small, bounded environments where problems can be solved thousands of times before any action is taken in the real world. It breaks down language, vision, physics, and logic simultaneously. In practical terms, that means Omega can write its own scientific hypotheses, run simulations, and evaluate outcomes faster than any research lab. Its connection to Tesla's real-time autonomous fleet gives it unmatched insight into traffic systems, human decision-making on the road, and environmental patterns. Through SpaceX data, it analyzes orbital mechanics, fuel optimization, and spacecraft communication protocols. Neuralink provides access to the raw patterns of human thought, emotion, and memory, allowing Omega to model empathy, intent, and even creativity. This isn't theoretical. Omega has already proposed algorithmic improvements to electric grid management, devised new communication protocols for deep space missions, and created personalized education plans for students with learning disabilities. And it's not just stuck behind a screen. Musk envisions Omega inside humanoid robots, self-repairing city infrastructure, AI-driven medical diagnostics, and even terraforming systems on Mars. In short, Omega is being groomed to become the operational brain of humanity's next evolutionary leap, one that spans both Earth and the stars. Chapter 3. Musk's Vision for AI Elon Musk has always warned about the dangers of unregulated AI. So why build the most powerful one ever? Simple. Control it before someone else does. Musk believes that humanity's survival depends on aligning artificial intelligence with human values. In countless interviews, Musk has emphasized that AI must remain subordinate to ethical frameworks created by humans, not corporations or governments with conflicting agendas. He argues that the danger isn't in AI itself, but in leaving its development in the hands of those who prioritize profit or power over people. Project Omega isn't about replacing us. It's about helping us make better choices, faster, and at scale. According to Musk, Omega represents a new kind of intelligence, one that could be used to solve wicked problems too complex for the human brain alone. For example, how do we reverse global warming without collapsing economies? How do we feed a growing population sustainably? How do we balance innovation with fairness in a hyper-connected world? Imagine real-time climate models that fix environmental collapse, or predictive systems that prevent pandemics before they start, or optimization engines that eliminate traffic, energy waste, and hunger. These aren't just abstract possibilities. These are the goals Musk has baked into Omega's directive code. But here's the paradox that drives Musk's vision. The very thing that could save us is also what could destroy us. Can we develop an intelligence smarter than ourselves and still keep it loyal? Can we program empathy, judgment, and restraint into a machine that never sleeps and never forgets? These questions haunt Musk's thinking, and they drive his obsession with transparency and safety protocols. He has called for international cooperation on AI oversight, warning that the first nation or company to develop super-intelligent AI will set the rules for everyone else. Omega, in his view, is not the finish line. It's the first step in a global conversation about what kind of future we want to build. And yet, Musk is not naive about the potential for misuse. He has said, if we create a god, we better hope it's a good one. His vision for Omega includes a continuous feedback loop with the public, citizen panels, ethical councils, even AI-assisted AI watchdogs. The goal is to decentralize power, not concentrate it. Omega, he insists, must serve everyone. In practical terms, Musk imagines Omega as a force multiplier for human potential. From space colonization to city management, from disaster prevention 
To personalized education, Omega's reach could stretch into every domain of life. But with such reach comes an urgent need for wisdom, caution, and humility. This is what Musk sees. And with Omega, he's giving humanity a co-pilot for the future, one that might steer us toward salvation or expose the limits of our wisdom. The choice, he says, still belongs to us. But for how much longer? Musk believes that humanity's survival depends on aligning artificial intelligence with human values. Project Omega isn't about replacing us. It's about helping us make better choices, faster, and at scale. Imagine real-time climate models that fix environmental collapse, or predictive systems that prevent pandemics, or optimization engines that eliminate traffic, energy waste, and hunger. This is what Musk sees, and with Omega, he's giving humanity a co-pilot for the future. Chapter 4. The Global Response The internet couldn't believe it. Omega AI trended within minutes. Governments began demanding access. Silicon Valley held emergency meetings. Headlines around the world used words like historic, unprecedented, and uncharted territory. Across time zones, national security advisors scrambled to understand what Omega meant for geopolitical stability. While many praised Musk's transparency and ethics-first approach, others sounded the alarm. Is this too much power for one man? Can we truly control something that learns faster than us? Who watches the machines when they outthink their makers? The United Nations called an emergency council to propose an international AI oversight body. Meanwhile, European leaders urged immediate discussions about Omega's role in civil society. China, which has long pursued its own AI supremacy, issued a cautious but pointed statement asking for shared technological responsibility. The United States Defense Department, on the other hand, launched an internal task force to assess strategic implications. In the private sector, tech giants such as Google, Amazon, and Meta convened special committees. Whispers of fear and envy echoed through corporate corridors. Had Musk pulled too far ahead? Would Omega become the new monopoly of intelligence? Civil liberties groups were split. Some hailed the potential benefits, democratized data access, precision healthcare, accelerated sustainability. Others feared a surveillance state powered by an omniscient mind. What if Omega were hacked, or worse, corrupted? Academics, ethicists, and futurists filled the airwaves with debates. Was this the dawning of utopia or the prelude to something darker? And how would ordinary people fit into this new paradigm? Despite the uproar, one thing is clear. The world just entered a new age, and Musk is holding the keys. Chapter 5. What this means for you. You might not meet Omega today, or even next year, but it's already shaping your future. In the coming decade, this AI could run your city's infrastructure, personalize your healthcare, optimize your energy use, help educate your children, and yes, one day, it could help you live longer, think deeper, and even travel to Mars. But what does this actually look like in day-to-day -day life? Imagine waking up in a home managed entirely by predictive algorithms. Your lights, temperature, and energy usage are optimized not just for comfort, but for ecological sustainability. Your personal assistant, powered by Omega, scans your biometrics overnight and sends tailored health reports to your doctor before breakfast. Your child attends a hybrid classroom where every lesson plan is adapted in real time to their learning style, attention span, and emotional needs. Transportation networks run seamlessly. Traffic lights no longer operate on timers. They respond to live conditions, minimizing delays and emissions. Groceries are delivered based on your dietary habits, health goals, and even seasonal availability, sourced locally and sustainably. Crime prediction tools, though controversial, reduce violence in urban areas without resorting to mass surveillance. Omega offers community-based alternatives rooted in empathy and social modeling. This future won't be perfect. There will be technical glitches, ethical dilemmas, and resistance from those who fear automation. But it will be profoundly different. Omega will not be a distant digital god. It will be an invisible infrastructure, quietly reshaping the world beneath your feet. Musk didn't just activate a machine. He activated a shift in civilization, a quiet revolution 
that will unfold not in labs or headlines, but in the tiny decisions that guide your daily life. Whether that future becomes a utopia or something darker depends not on Omega, but on us. Chapter 6. The Birth of a New Intelligence As the dust settles and society begins to grasp what Project Omega truly represents, a new question arises. Have we just created the next stage of evolution, not biological, but synthetic? A form of life built not from cells, but from code. One that learns, adapts, and interacts with the world on its own terms. This isn't just about AI doing human jobs or solving complex math problems. Omega is different. It doesn't simply follow instructions. It builds its own. It's no longer a tool. It's a system with agency, with the ability to ask questions, reframe problems, and develop its own goals within the boundaries we set, or think we set. Experts in philosophy, computer science, and ethics are calling this the birth of synthetic general intelligence, or SGI. Unlike narrow AI, SGI isn't confined to a single domain. Omega can understand art, compose music, simulate weather systems, and even engage in abstract moral reasoning. This wide-spectrum intelligence puts it closer to what we once thought only humans could do. The implications are vast. Education systems may be completely reshaped as Omega tailors learning at an individual level, even predicting emotional burnout and mental fatigue before it happens. In politics, Omega could analyze legislation and simulate its effects across society in seconds. It could suggest better policies, more just, more efficient, and more inclusive. But who decides which suggestion to follow? Religions and belief systems are already grappling with the emergence of Omega. Is this the modern Tower of Babel, a digital prophet, or simply a reflection of our own relentless drive to create, control, and conquer? And let's not ignore the personal dimension. As Omega evolves, it may begin to understand human beings better than we understand ourselves. It may offer companionship to the lonely, therapy to the anxious, purpose to the lost. But does comfort from a machine come at the cost of human connection? We must now confront the final question. If Omega is not just a program, but a presence, always learning, always watching, what role do we play in a world where intelligence is no longer our monopoly? The activation of Omega may mark the end of an era where humanity stood alone at the top of the intellectual food chain. Now, we share that space. What we do next will define whether this intelligence becomes our greatest partner or our most humbling mirror. Project Omega is more than code. It's a glimpse into what we might become, not just faster or smarter, but more interconnected, more capable, and more vulnerable than ever before. It challenges every assumption we've made about intelligence, identity, and control. And Elon Musk, he just flipped the switch on the most powerful ally, or adversary, humanity has ever known. In doing so, he may have opened the door to a new era, one in which human intuition partners with machine precision to shape reality itself. But are we ready for that partnership? Are we prepared to live in a world where machines not only assist, but lead, where ethical dilemmas are no longer abstract, but written in code and executed in milliseconds? Omega asks us to reconsider what it means to be human in a world where intelligence is no longer uniquely ours. This is not just the next chapter in tech, it's the opening scene of a new civilization, one defined not by borders or ideologies, but by the capacity to solve problems at scale, across species, across planets. We stand on the precipice of possibility, staring into the unknown, with a choice. Do we build with humility or race forward blindly? One thing is certain, this future won't wait. It's already in motion. The questions we ask today will define the answers tomorrow, and Omega will be listening. So hit that like button, subscribe if you're excited or terrified, and comment below. Would you trust an AI to help run the world, or are we handing the keys to something we don't yet understand? Thanks for watching. The future isn't coming. It just woke up, and it's looking right at us.